I'm still reading from Isaiah 53, and um, I'm going to pick up where I left off in our last session. And I read this verse, but I'll read it again and read further down where I want to get to today. It says, And all we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and Yahuwah has laid on him, talking about the Mashiach, the Messiah, the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. Boy, isn't this a perfect description of the Mashiach, of the Messiah? And it says, He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people he was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Verse 10 is where I wanted to get to today. Yet it pleased Yahuwah to bruise him. He hath put on him, he hath put him to grief. Now, again, in our last few sessions, I uh, brought up the fact is that the word grief here is a bad translation uh, because it's not accurate. It's it's not what the really word that should sh as I've mentioned before, uh, certain Hebrew words can have more than one meaning, just like English words just sometimes have more than one particular meaning. And uh, the word here actually should have been translated as sickness. It's the Hebrew word, kole, uh, Hebrew number 2483. So where it says here in verse 10, yet it pleased Yahuwah to bruise him. Uh, he hath made him not grief, but he has made him sick. Now he made him sick, not for himself, but he made him sick for, so that he would bear our sicknesses and carry our diseases. You know, in Matthew chapter 8, verse uh, 16 and 17, I believe it says, and that it might be fulfilled. Now this is Matthew talking and speaking about this particular chapter here. It says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Yahshua Yahu, that's the prophet Isaiah, Himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. <laughs> that's a that's a perfect confirmation of this what that's why this what this word should have been translated as sickness and not as grief. Uh, a perfect example. If you look this up in your in your New Testament in the book of Matthew chapter eight, verse sixteen and seventeen, it says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Yahshua the prophet. Himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. He bore them for us so that we would not have to bear them and that we could be set free from that. The good news is to know that you and I could be free of sickness and disease if we, first of all, know that, and then we put our faith and trust in that, and that we claim that for ourselves. The scripture says, resist Shaitan, and he will flee from you. So we should resist sickness and disease just like we resist the temptation to sin because it's all from the same person, Shaitan, and we can resist him and we can be free and walk in, in health and healing because it's been provided for the children of Yasharel, for the children of Yahuwah, and for those that, have been, that are born of the Ruach HaKadosh. May these words comfort you and strength, bring strength to you today. Shalom.